Hey y'all, it's a Dirty Southerner, live from my car. <laughs> I uh, am at my daughter's volleyball practice and did some thrifting earlier. Don't mind my daughter's mask tied around. It's lovely. Uh, anyway, um, I'm at her volleyball practice. It's an hour and a half and I have two jewelry jars. I didn't want to go live because I don't know how this is going to go down and if I'm going to have to stop and you know, all that, because I'm literally in the parking lot. So, I'm going to do it and upload it. But I have two jewelry jars, and this is going to be different, because normally they're tilted down so you can see all the jewelry, but I'm just going to open them and show you guys. So, this one is $9.99, and then I have another one. This is the one, I think, that I think might be better. But you never know. You really don't ever know. And this one for, was $14.99. Okay, so let's get to it. This is all I have to open them. <laughs> oh, no, that works great. Okay, good. I hope you guys are all well. I did not film a video Thursday. We went camping this weekend, and I just had too much to get done. I just didn't have time to film. I've got lots, lots of stuff to show you guys on Thursday. Some really exciting things, like a, a very, a very designer item with the initials uh, Lee that I found at a garage sale for $4. So, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, I'm trying to bend over here. Okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? Because I usually like to sort it into stuff I want to keep and stuff I don't want to keep. Uh -huh. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Put the stuff I don't want to keep in, in here which this would be one of those things. Again, I'm sorry if you guys don't like these kind of videos, but I have an hour and a half to kill and I wanted to open these and I always like to show you guys everything I get. Um, the stuff I'm not keeping will go and be added to my, uh, the things that are not broken will be added to my um, next jewelry box that I sell on eBay. Those seem to sell really well. I've sold a couple of them. Thank you to whoever recommended that on a live one time. Don't remember her name. Now this one's kind of cool. This is stamped. Oh, it's a tax co. It's not sterling though, so... Is it alpaca? Alpaca's usually not this color though. It almost looks like copper. So that's cool with the tax co marking. So I will be keeping that. All right, we've got some more. Just going to check these. I don't have my magnifying glass or anything. Again, that's nothing. Um, I'll put that in there with all that. That's the sticker, sticky stuff. Okay, just a cheap angle. That's kind of pretty. Yes, there is an Easter basket in the back. My uh, daughter made an Easter basket for one of her friends at volleyball, and they're gonna they're gonna exchange Easter baskets after her practice. This is a skull head wristlet cuff, two ninety nine, uh, fake leather. Now this I will be keeping, and I'm gonna put it on my keychain. Because that's awesome. Uh oh. Is it broken? It was all the way in before. Put it in. Go in. Okay. We're good. Clip that on my keys right now. Because those always come in handy. I used to carry a cloth one. Like for sewing. But I lost that a long time ago. Alright. This is still on the card. It's actually kind of pretty. Not, I don't wear, usually wear fashion jewelry. I think I've mentioned that before, but this is pretty. Nice. Oh, it's got little matching earrings. I don't, do those match? Those are kind of cute. I actually really like those. So far, only keeping the Taxco bracelet. But again, these are not a total waste because I boxed them up and sell them. I mean, this is all good, useful jewelry. I gotta hang... This is cute. This is wood. Again, too big for me, but super cute. I'm going to place that up there. Hopefully, it will have a 
mate to it. Really beautiful. Is that a choker? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Beaded choker. I bet my daughter will want that. That's beautiful. Okay, not bad, not bad so far. Uh, we have a white hoop. I'll place that up there too. Because again, I only want to add usable jewelry to the box I'm going to get rid of. And then I also do have a like a crafter's box. This is really pretty. It says Yochi, New York. I think I've found a Yochi piece before. These are all glass beads. This is gorgeous. Again, not something I would wear, but a very pretty piece. Okay, I'll keep that and do some research. This is the reason I got this one. Again, not something I'm going to wear, but all of this crystal. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful quartz crystals. And then a, um, oh, what's this called? I keep wanting to say Malachi. Anyway, y'all know what this is. Anyway, isn't that pretty? It looks like they have put some kind of sheen on these crystals. This is beautiful. If anyone's interested in any of this jewelry, of course, let me know. I'll give you a heck of a deal. Okay, this, this is pretty too. Uh-oh, is the sun moving? Oh, I think the sun's kind of doing a weird thing. Another little tassel earring. These are going to quickly get to be too many earrings up here. Oh, a little vintage pin. Another clip on. New earrings. Charms, best friend charm. That's cute. The red pen. You almost always get stuff that's not jewelry, but they don't know what to do with it. So it goes in the jewelry jar. That's actually not something that needs to go in there because I don't want to sell that to someone who buys a jewelry jar. Oh, these are really pretty. Look to be vintage. Hopefully we'll find that one. And I'm going to keep those up there till I open both because if they made them at the same time, sometimes they'll be in there. This is kind of cute. It's stainless steel. It's a little uh, ship's wheel. We've got... Um, I don't know. I think this was an earring and somebody tried to turn it into a ring. Which, I can see why. That's cool. But I'm not going to put that back in there. Okay. We have a choker. A Fleur de Lis choker. Which I'm going to keep and see if my daughter wants also. And a... Uh, I'm just making sure. A pearl earring that is very vintage. Ay, ay, ay. And roly-poly. I know this setup is not ideal, you guys. I'm aware, but I told you why I'm doing it. So hopefully you'll still enjoy it. Okay, that's a pair. Very cool. Got this guy. Go up here with the unmatched ones. Don't fall, please. And we've got this cord, which I'm going to take out of there. Because again only want to sell usable jewelry in those. There's that. Just a little black beaded necklace. I am sad I can't interact with you guys because I'm filming without it being alive. Usually I'd be asking you guys questions right now, but uh, I can't do that. Again, gonna keep those all. That is it in this bag. This is cute, a little glass bead. It's got an American flag on it. I don't know if you can see that. 
All right, so let's take all of the jewelry that is going to go into a jewelry jar. And this is falling apart. I'm not going to, I'm not doing that. Also, some of these bangles I'll probably weed out. This bangle is missing a stone. So I'm going to take it up. All right, now I'm going to put all the trash in here. Let's move on to the one that I was I'm excited about. All right. Which, again, you never can tell. And then at the end, I will show you guys what I kept. Where are my little scissors? Didn't I put them in my lap? Oh, no. Where'd they go? There they, nope. There they are. Okay, I'm gonna try to scoot over some because the sun is going down. Let's see if I can help this situation even a little bit. Is that a little bit better? I think it is. Okay. I am just opening this one. Look at this. So, my husband got this for me like two years ago for Christmas. Check it out. It's like a Swiss Army credit card. Is that how these go in? Uh, hold on. Hold the phone. Okay. So, it's so cool. It's got scissors, tweezers. Oh, it's got a magnifying glass. I forgot about that. Um, what else? But it's like a Swiss Army. Oh, it's got a flashlight. I think that the battery's dead. And so it's got a fingernail file, a toothpick, tweezers. Um, I don't even know what. Oh, a little screwdriver. And I think that's it. But, um, it's super cool and it stays, oh shit, I going to not be able to get this back in now. It stays in my, what is happening, tiny little wallet. And it's awesome. And I don't know how to get that back in. It had to have gone something like that. You're like, okay, Leslie, we don't care about this. I get it, but I need to put it back in. It doesn't go that way. Hold on. Okay, I got it back in. And look, I carry this little wallet most of the time when I have my my little purse. And it just goes right in there. And then I have all that stuff and I have a carry pocket knife. Isn't that cool? Alright. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a good gift. Actually, when he got it for me, I was like, what am I going to do with this? And then I use it quite a lot. And it has a magnifying glass, which I need to remember. Because there have been many times I've been out and about and wanted to check something and not didn't have a glass. Now I can stick this in this bag. Trash. Sorry. This is part of the deal when you film in your car. Okay. We have just a set of plastic beads. The obligatory puka shell necklace. Where is everybody getting these? Does everyone just go to Mexico and get one of those? <gasps> Ooh, this is pretty. I didn't see this. Check it out. It's an elephant cuff. It is not a, doesn't have any markings. It doesn't look like it's pewter or anything. It doesn't have any markings on it, but that's very pretty, so. And another shell necklace, and another shell necklace. This is pretty. Again, no markings on it. it looks handmade. I don't think it's silver. Oh, see, I don't have a magnet. I wish I had a magnet. I'll have to look when I get home. Oh my gosh, look at these little spectacles. I didn't even see these. Hold on, they're tangled. 
OMG, these are old. I'm gonna have to keep these and do some research. Um, hold on, they're tangled up. Are they foldable? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh my gosh. They're like spring-loaded, so they just squeeze the shit out of your nose. And then you can see through them. Interesting. And they're on a little... Because you wear them on your neck. Okay. Got to do more research on those, but those are cool. This is really pretty. Again, if you're interested in any of this stuff, let me know. This I saw, and I couldn't tell what it was, but I freaking love it, and I hope it will go on my finger. Look at this. Fantastic. So, all of this. The elephant, that one, and this one, definitely from the same person. Definitely. This is a dragon. There's its body. Yes, it's a dragon. Can you guys see? <gasps> That is fantastic. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Now it's stuck. Oh, God. Hold on. Okay. For a second there, <laughs> thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Not going to lie. Totally freaked out. I am super claustrophobic. And the thought, look at my hands are still shaking. I don't know if you can't, you probably can't see. But the thought of having to get something cut off of my finger holy lord okay won't be trying that again but it is beautiful whoa that freaked me out y'all like a lot okay here's another one of these my hands are still shaking like i was freaking out you guys freaking out i had to pour water on it i thought i was gonna have to go get soap Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm a bit of a drama queen. Okay. Alright. This, I don't think it's ivory. I think it's resin. Is a really pretty little pen. Somebody had all this exotic jewelry, which is very interesting. Okay. Um, this, which is just some costume jewelry. Oh, wait. No, this is... A giant earring. I don't think anybody's gonna want that. This is quite nice necklace. Does it have? Yeah, it does. Well, let me pull back out my handy dandy credit card. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm still trying to recover from that. It was so scary. <sighs> okay. Stop shaking hands. Avery. 925. This is a really nice sterling chain. It's like a rope chain. Yes. Very nice. If anyone's interested in that, it's very thick. Let's see if I can get you. You can see it. Super nice. So that's good. Okay, we've got another tassley earring. This one's turning. This is a bracelet. That thing, like, I put it on my finger and it was like, like, <laughs> it was crazy. All of a sudden, I was like, that is not, that's not coming off. Okay. Ooh, when you're claustrophobic, like, even that kind of thing. Y'all, comment if you are claustrophobic and something like that would completely freak you out. And then I was thinking like, oh my God, Hartley's in the middle of a volleyball game. What am I going to do when I'm going to go to the hospital? All right, y'all. Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. A little necklace. Cute. Long. Whoa. These are some hoops, y'all. I like my hoops. Love them, in fact. But um, that's a little bit. This is literally 
like plastic, like a kid's bracelet. It's like light as a feather. This is interesting. This, it look like it looks like the Star Trek symbol, and I don't. I think that's Jessica Simpson. That's cute, but it really reminds me of the Star Trek emblem. This is also interesting, but unfortunately, I think it's broken. I wish I had a magnet because I want to test this ring. Although it's got patina on it and gold doesn't patina, so it's not anything. This is a really cool bracelet that I would have loved to have had, but... It is broken. I'm not quite sure how it actually clasped. Maybe we will find. And it actually looks like, actually, it looks like maybe this was a scarab bracelet. If you guys have ever seen, there would each one of these would be a stone with a scarab in it because it looks like they were, like something was set inside of these and it's fallen out. But I'm still gonna test it for gold. So, let's keep that, because you just never know. Oh, that's a doodles. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. This is a beautiful brooch, and it is marked Vendome. Keep that, do some research on that. No, I'm not. I'm going to let somebody else have it. Okay, we've got, oh, for fruit's sake. I'm going to be digging for stuff. These are kind of cute little hoops with love on them. And I have to get my daughter. So now there's two things under there. Alright, this is a pretty pin. Pretty little brooch. Whoops. What time is it? Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Have I been on here 30 minutes? Not quite. No, I had to have, I had to pause it to have my freak out. Oh, I hope I find one of these. Hartley was going to want these, my daughter. I don't know if you can see. It's a little, um, like rose, but it's got glitter on it. So let's hope we find that. This is... A little ring or something. I guess it's a little tiny ring. All right, so nothing just fantastic in these. This is really interesting. I think it opens. This is a pin, and this is super heavy. And it, oh, I, I, I feel like it's like a little mini urn. Like, I'm going to have to investigate that. It is heavy, like an urn that would hold someone's ashes. Very weird. I wonder if it is vintage. It's got a lot of patina on it. Okay, I'm going to keep that and see if I can get it open. Earring getting down to the end. I don't think we're going to have anything in here that's just fantastic. Found the, found the mate to that one. Here's another earring. Ah, uh, is this a Pandora? This kind of looks Pandora-y to me, but I guess not because there's nothing. Doesn't that look kind of like Pandora? I don't even know what kind of markings Pandora puts on their stuff, though. Um, I don't think it is, though, because surely there would be something on there. I've never gotten a piece of Pandora before, but I'm going to wear that right now. Because why not? Right? That one's not going to get stuck on my finger. That's a key ring. I 
touchy bracelet with some stretchy bits hanging off of it. Oh, these are always pretty. Little dipped leaves, skeletons. A cheap broken earring. A little pewter spoon, spoon times pewter. Guess I'll look that up. Swan. We've got one cuff link. Any markings? Any markings? It's actually a really nice cuff link. It's like a purple mother of pearl around and a little clear stone. Right. Did I have this one already? I don't think so. I don't see it in there. I do see that one. Okay, we've got a leopard earring that I don't see the mate to. Got this little guy that I don't see the mate to. Oh yeah, I do see the mate to that one. Okay. Got that. Broken earring. Shell earring. It's just little bits now. This is a really pretty vintage clip-on earring. So let's put that up there in hopes we found that one. Ooh. I'm gonna test these. These are marked. These are really nice cufflinks. And they're marked CC. BC, CB. All right. I've got some stuff to test when I get home. I've got a big pearl. Okay, I think I had this one. Yep, so I found that. That's a set. I keep trying to grab this. Look at this little tiny pen. It's so cute. And it's got, um, it's enamel. It's got a little enamel flower. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Can you see it? He's tiny. How could anyone even keep up with like that? I, I would put that on my, my, what am I trying to say? I keep wanting to say purse on my shirt. And then I would forget that I even had it on. All right. This is kind of big, but I'm kind of, okay. Yeah. That, there we go. Middle finger. These are cute, these vintage ones. I don't think they had any markings on them. They didn't, but I've got two of those. Really nice. We've got another pair of vintage, um, oh my gosh, y'all, cufflinks. Good gravy. They look like they have got a Native American chief on them. It's gonna be hard for you to see. That's interesting. Somebody donated their dad's old cufflinks, huh? Or grandpa's. This one is, I think, it, it, one of those button. Doesn't that go in the button? I think that goes in the buttonhole. Okay. We got this pretty little guy with some Aurora Aborealis. You're not going to be able to see, but they're the little Aurora Borealis crystals. We've got a vintage hat pin with some markings on it and a little purple stone. Really pretty. We'll let somebody else have that. Hey, this has got a marking on it. This little stick pin. Friedrich. Really pretty. Also going to add that to that uh, jewelry thing. That's going to get thrown away. It's totally stretched out. I am literally just picking at the bits at the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this little mini pocket watch. It says Seafield, I think. If anyone knows anything about this stuff and I'm like adding this stuff to a jewelry lot and it's worth a lot of money, let me know. But I like to give my people who buy my jewelry like 
nice things because, I mean, they're buying it too, hoping that they can find something. And I don't really sell, um, I don't deal in vintage jewelry. So, why not let someone else get uh, something exciting for them that they can resell? Uh, this has got markings, but I can't tell what they are. But it is a shell. I'm going to test it for gold. It's really pretty. Some interesting things in this jar, for sure. Okay, great. Here's the other cufflink. So now I have a set of three vintage cufflinks, which I might actually sell. Or if I test these for gold and they're not anything, I might just add them back to that grouping. I'm not sure. And then here's another button cover. And just got various little, I don't think any of them are really anything. Little cheap studs, hold on. Let's see for sure. Okay, I was hoping to find that rose. I do think Hartley would like these if I find the other one, which I think I see right now. So I will keep those for her. Is that the same? Nope, that one's the same, okay. That one's not the same, okay. I don't wanna throw anything away until I look through it all because I don't want to throw away a vintage piece, but they're all just like really cheap studs but there could be something good mixed in here. So I wanna look at everything. I was right about that bracelet. It did have scarabs in it because there's a scarab. Only one though, like the rest fell out from God knows when. So, okay, this is bits and bobs of broken stuff. And so I think we're done. Hold on, there's two more little pendants down here. Um, that's a locket, which is probably gold. This is a little stamped item, which I don't know if that's gold, but this is probably gold and it's vintage and it came off something. It's a little, it opens, so I'm gonna keep it with my other handful of stuff here. That's why I didn't want to just go through. Okay. That is all. These, none of these had mates, none of these earrings. So we're going to throw those away. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this hot mess of a video and I am spilling all this on the ground. That's great. There are two items. Let me see if I can get them. My hand is not small enough. So if it's anything cool, I will show you on my video on Thursday. Until next time, thanks so much, and y'all keep it thrifty.